Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a wrap up video. Well, usually I do kind of seasonal wrap ups and TBRs, but I think the last one I did was a uh, summer wrap up and then I did look quite late autumn TBR when I, when I also talk a little bit of what I'm currently reading and then like just everything fall apart basically uh, now when I feel this is like almost the end of February and so I haven't, didn't made any reading update since like October or late September 2019 so here we are we are doing the wrap up finally um, also yeah unfortunately I've read a lot of books digitally and also uh, some of my physical books not like on the shelf right now so you're gonna see a lot of this cover inserts but yeah um, I think let's get started and the only physical book I have with me right now and it's uh, Three Body Problem by Lucy Singh I don't remember did I um, wrap it in my pre last video or it was still in progress so yeah I finished this book I loved it I'm gonna continue with the series I've already bought a second book it's a just cool eye. Uh, yeah, I think it's deserve all the rewards and stuff it has. Uh, and yeah, it's a really cool sci-fi. I think that one was translated from Chinese to English and then from English to Russian. Um, I believe, but I still think that translation was really nice. The story is awesome. I think the intro kind of beginning uh, part of the story sets um very different mood from like the main part of the book and it was a little bit confusing because uh kind of the beginning remind me of completely different thing and uh like uh, the main part of this book set in the kind of um, current time i would say and yeah obviously it's different so of course we have uh some bits and pieces from the past uh, in the main story, and the aliens was completely unpredictable. I was while I was reading the beginning, I was wondering how, so how would you put an alien ex expansion in here? Because yeah, uh, but it was really cool. Also, string theory and all this like math and physics stuff loved it uh if you don't like really like scientific and hard sci-fi maybe it's not for you but i love this kind of stuff uh the more science the better uh, so yeah i was a huge fan of this book i'm really excited i think the second part is like a little bit bigger in terms of number page number so mm, and it's like probably this third part i believe so yeah great and yes, yeah, the whole series is called, I believe, Remembrance of Earth's Past. Uh, so, three body problem with the first one, Dark Forest is the second, and I don't remember how the third part of the trilogy is called, but yeah. Highly recommend if you're a sci fi fan. So, also, I've decided that I want to read at least a couple of uh, non fiction books uh, about zero waste, uh, environment, and all this kind of stuff. At this point I've finished two of them and I think I have at least one extra on the shelves so it's also on the TBR currently but let's talk about what I finished so first I've read one of one ways to go zero waste by Catherine Kellogg and well so if I would find this book when I was just starting uh, reading about zero waste and stuff it would be great it's kind of I would say it's great like book for beginners with a lot of recommendations a lot of uh, recipes for handmade products a lot of this stuff so or like if you like to have uh, these recipes and stuff like on hand somewhere printed it would be great to have uh, this book physically but generally there was only a couple of things in this book which was new to me because at this point when I've started treating it, I watched so many YouTube videos, I've, watched, I've read so many blog posts, so I was basically familiar with a lot of stuff which was discussed in this book, so I can't say it was 
helpful for me, unfortunately. But if like you don't have any experience in this, it would be really great for you because it summarizes a lot of information. Unfortunately, it just wasn't for me and my level of zero wasteness, I guess. Um, whatever, let's move on. Another book uh, I've read was Garbology by Edward Holmes. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. And basically, this is a non fiction book about waste. How the landfills are handled, how the recycling works, uh, what's the issue with our oceans currently, and what is again zero waste. Uh, it covers a little bit of uh, all this stuff. Yeah, I found a lot of interesting information in it, which I didn't expect it at all. So it was a really great non-fiction book. A lot of statistics, though. I think this, um, I don't remember what year it was published, I think 2016 uh, or somewhere like that. So probably some of it is not like super relevant, maybe. Um, because I think it was a huge part talking about um, recycling in the US in terms of that a lot of the materials is sent to China and as you may know China declined a lot of the stuff and uh, I think they don't accept recycling materials from the US at all and other countries or maybe they like accept only part of it uh, but yeah I think that happened like 2018 or something but in general I think a lot of this information would be really really interesting and really eye-opening so if you are interested in the current environment issues in terms of how humans and human waste impact uh, uh, our earth and also what's going on behind the scenes because uh, I think a lot of people see waste like oh you put it in a bin and it disappears but it's not so uh, I recommend uh, this book to anyone who is interested in the topic. So let's move to fiction books again I guess. I finished Binti Trilogy by Nadia Korofor, so I think I've read the first book like in the summer last year or something like that. Uh, and the second book was Home and the third one, The Night Masquerade, just recently finished that one. Uh, so, in general, I love this trilogy. The ending was cool. Uh, some parts of the case was predictable, uh, just like I think like couple, uh, like last 30 pages of the last book I was kind of predicting um, some parts of it, but in general I loved it. However, I think this book works well only like a trilogy altogether, all these like three small um, novellas together, so it's hard for me to separate it. I think it would work better as like one book with like three sections. When I read series I expect that the single book is um, kind of full, even if it ends on the cliffhanger. Uh, I usually like the series when like, okay, I've read the book, if I don't want to continue with the series for uh, whatever reason, I think I got some part of the story done, I guess. And I didn't get this feeling with while reading Binti. Also, as I said, it's pretty small. Uh, I think the first one from the trilogy is my least favorite from all three of them. Um, just because some of the moments feel uh, like really really rushed uh, so in the first book the main character Binti is uh, going to attend this uh, intergalactic university and while she's on the spaceship uh, this aliens medusas kill everyone except her and obviously it gives you a lot of anxiety and uh, all these mental issues because like a lot of people was killed in front of her and also she was kind of falling in love with this one of these guys I feel like that was the case and while I was reading this part before the killing uh, I was expecting some like romance and stuff and a little bit more development between them but it didn't happen the guy was just killed almost in the like first half of the book I think and this uh, all this uh, situation gives me a lot of issues and when she kind of remembers this uh, uh, mass killing and she always remembers this specific guy because he was sitting in front of her in this moment and dying in her eyes and 
she always remembers him specifically not like every other like any other student because I think she was starting to like make connection with some other people she always remember him but like we didn't got any development between them and it was like almost a little bit annoying towards the end because it's always always that guy and not like usually not like in students in general she always remembers that moment so mm, is that like kind of my main complaint and the fact that the first book was super fast paced i was expecting kind of like couple like at least 50 100 more pages for the plot that was put in the first book the next two books was pretty okay and in general as i said i really loved the trilogy but still if you are interested um in a sci-fi uh in different earth cultures presented in sci-fi i would say read this trilogy but again don't read like, just the first book and if uh, first book seems to just okay uh try to still finish the trilogy i think it was the general experience of reading it would be better than just reading one book so also i've read finally uh, the long way to a small angry planet by becky chambers unfortunately i don't have my physical copy with me so yeah um, here is the picture and i loved it i already have another part of the trilogy and i want to finish uh, it and i also have another book uh, by becky chambers i really like the writing style um i like the book uh i was a little bit nervous starting it because a lot of the people describe it like if you like books which are focused on the character development and not on the plot because there's no plot in this book there is plot in this book and i love the plot uh, but i was nervous because i usually don't really super interested in the character development and uh, all this kind of stuff i'm interested in the settings and in the plot and like honestly right now i love this book but i can't tell you what was the character names no rosemary rosemary was the main character name don't remember anyone else like completely or whatever how the alien species was named uh but yeah i loved it <laughs> so i loved the plot actually the plot is pretty interesting i don't understand why people say that this book has no plot and yes yeah, they travel on the ship pretty much through the whole book this couple of places when they're on the planets or like space stations but they mean yeah they mainly traveling but still it was super interesting it was so much happening like yeah i don't understand why people think it's like purely character development book because i think it has a lot of stuff happening i was a little bit surprised but, uh, because of some romantic interactions if you finish this book you will know don't want to spoil it uh but i can't say if it was something gross or something that was, was pushing me away from the book i still like it i still finish it i just was surprising that this pairing was chosen but in general uh really loved it of course it's not like that hard uh and super scientific sci-fi as for example creepy the problem was so if you like space travel and aliens and stuff but you don't want to over like load your brain with all this scientific details i could recommend uh, reading this book and the last book on this list which i finished uh was the memoirs of red army officer but sergius plesetsky uh so this was a translation from polish to belarusian the book was published i think like september this last year last year yeah i've read this book before honestly at this point of time i don't remember did i read russian translation Belarusian translation also it was ebook and maybe it was actually also Belarusian. completely don't remember uh but yeah well it was published uh my dad actually asked me to bought a physical copy for him uh, but I decided to reread it because I was kind of remembering how it was ended. It was a pretty bad ending. 
uh, but not bad in terms of like badly written in terms of it's not a happy end uh, and yeah I've decided to reread it and I actually was pushing it uh, and not finishing like last 30 or something pages because I was clearly remembering how it's gonna end up and it was making me so extremely sad so I was keeping this book uh, not finished for like I think at least a month or probably more well uh, it's like it's satire it's not a um, historical no I mean like it is historical fiction but not like documentary or anything it's satire but the characters in this book are so believable like I would genuinely believe it was if it was the real memoirs of a real person and, and I hate the main character he is so disgusting and so brainwashed and I hate them I, all the stuff he did just like mm. but it's so believable honestly it's just so believable I don't know do I like want to recommend this book also because I'm not sure if the English translation even exists as I said it was written in Polish and I knew the Belarusian translation exists but I'm not sure about the English one but if you uh, can put your hands on this book and read it and for some weird reason you think that USSR was great a wonderful country just just read this book because it it's not true <laughs> um, from what I from what I know from like history books and uh, articles and from uh, actual people from relatives and stuff is this book draws like really realistic and believable picture of course there's some exaggerations of course it is satire and you like reading this book and thinking like this main character is such a dumbass but it's still for me it still looks pretty realistic for what it is so yeah we are finishing on a weird note and let's move on to the books which are in progress I would say so first of all I would say that I am rereading Harry Potter in two different languages simultaneously uh, because as you may know I've read uh, it originally in Russian and I'm reading English edition and Belarusian edition of Philosopher's Stone not as, uh, in the same time actually because I think I've made bigger progress in that one at this point what chapter it is like chapter 7 here and uh, I think this is chapter 3 no chapter 5 here so it's almost at the same point but not exactly mainly because I'm for me Harry Potter books is uh, more like a collectibles at this point and I'm nervous to breathe with me on the public transport or something so as you can see it's there in this mm, little bit too big uh, plastic uh, uh, dust jackets uh, just because I don't want to damage them and yes this book actually has its own like paper dust jacket but it's too pretty to just read it as it is so I put it in one another <laughs> dust jacket because I'm so afraid of damaging them they're so pretty I love them so much um, yeah they're pretty much in progress I would say uh, this book is also still in progress uh, aka I haven't read a lot of from it last year pretty much but it still was a current fiction and maybe I will finally finish it one day I really hope so uh, and yeah the book of English magic if you can't read on screen uh, by Philip Carcom and Richard Higgett I was mentioning this book so many times in so many TBRs it's, it's kind of embarrassing at this point uh, Mirror Gambit this is a collection of short stories by uh, Larissa Bortico and Alexei Provorotov Provorotov? not sure uh, so again I've started reading it and I think I don't have a bookmark which is really unfortunate yeah I think I've read like 100 pages yeah I found the uh, where I've stopped so I've read like 4 short stories from it 
and I believe I have like 12 or how many honestly not sure um, I don't know he has 20 short stories and I read four of them uh, in general I think I've really liked uh, one of them at this point uh, also it's a little bit not what I expected I thought it was like more sci-fi collection but actually it's like everything so there is like fantasy or you know more like fairy tale like almost things and uh, there is sci-fi uh, so like a little bit of everything so I really like only one story of it, out of it and I uh, was kind of fascinated by another one of them but uh, two other ones like it's kind of meh uh, but I still want to finish it so uh, because I've heard a lot of good things about this short story series because it's like I think more than 10 publications at this point and each one has like two different authors and it's a little bit hard to find um, short story publications with multiple authors obviously like you can find some old ones or you can find a short story by one author but I'm, I really like such short story collection when you have a lot of different people and you haven't seen this book yet because I'm gonna film book haul also because it is a lot uh, but you will see it the first in this video it's um, don't remember the English title um, maybe it has it somewhere it would be great um, the Trillion Adventures of Loveless and Babbage so uh, so Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage, I think is his name. Uh, Charles Babbage was trying to create the, kind of the first computer, first uh, uh, machine for calculations, and I think he built like only a piece of it, um, of, of, of everything he wanted to build. And, and Ada Lovelace was a mathematician, and uh, she was working with Babbage a little bit, and she was. Uh, adding her commentary for an uh, article about this machine she was translating and uh, a lot of people called her like the first ever programmer uh, because she was, she was uh, making a lot of theories of uh, algorithms and everything for this specific machine aka first computer and also how this computer could process not only numbers but words and symbols uh, yeah so uh, and basically the very beginning of this book uh, telling the original story of what's happened but and yeah this comics and I loved the art style completely in love and also it has a lot of text just plain text as a commentary uh, Two different moments and then it's kind of spin off and starts talking about so what if what if Babbage would finish his machine and what if uh, Lovelace would uh, actually make like working algorithm for it uh, so I love anything like about mess <laughs> so and programming pretty much so give me more I've randomly found this book I had no idea it existed uh, I was going to like uh, the flea market and kind of stuff and on Instagram they made like announcement of some stuff which would be in stock uh, on the market this day and I saw this I was like oh my god I need to have it I hope that no one will buy it before me and they had and I bought it and I'm really really happy. I've read only like part of it pretty much. I've read the historical part of it and the very beginning of uh, this imaginary universe, how it was created and what is different from the original historical one but I haven't read the actual like adventures in this imaginary universe. So that's pretty much it of my wrap up and currently reading 
not sure I'm gonna make a TBR because uh, basically like everything like physical on the shelves is like on the TBR because like I don't have a lot of space to put my books at this point so I just need to read this uh, well so I think like I could talk about it in a book haul because like it's almost the same thank you very much for watching uh, and also in the next video uh, goodbye